There are not so many mammals living in Iceland. Uh, in the ocean, there are the whales and the seals, and on the land, there are only seven species currently living. These species are, I will get that for you because it's not so many, the reindeers, the arctic foxes, the field mice, the house mice, uh, the rabbits, the rats, and the minks. The only indigenous kind that naturally had the habitat in this particular island is the Arctic fox. It is believed that the ascendant of the current Arctic fox was ones who remained in the island when the ice age was almost finished and the ice cap withdrew to the north. To adjust to the cold climate that Iceland has, a lot of adaptation can be seen from uh, the Arctic fox's appearances. Uh, Arctic fox has a very compact uh, body to uh, minimize the uh, body temperature. To, to it, it creates the surface, so it minimizes the, the loss of body temperature. And also, they have very short ears, short muzzle, and short legs for the same purpose. In Iceland, uh, you can find two different types of uh, Arctic fox, because uh, they do have different fur color. The one is called the white. Arctic fox and the other one is called the blue Arctic fox. The white Arctic fox has bright, beautiful white fur during the winter time, which is great camouflage color uh, for the hunt in a very snowy uh, landscape. Uh, the white Arctic fox will have uh, two colored fur during the summertime. The, they will have a white belly and a, a gray brown uh, a back. The blue type of uh, the blue Arctic fox has a, a gray brown color. And uh, the, ta the color differences between the winter and the summer is either you, you will get more kind of bluish uh, tinge during the uh, summertime and more kind of dark, uh, a bluish tinge during the winter time and more dark gray brown uh, summer coat. Uh, the Icelandic Arctic fox feeds mainly on the birds and eggs, and also will eat a small uh, the invertebrate. At Horostarantir, uh, there is a nature a nature reserve that the the uh, the Arctic fox is protected. And it's where then you can see many photogenic Arctic foxes uh, with a great, beautiful landscape behind.